It's a party, a shindig, it's it's high society. And now this combat on a polished marble floor. Look down, you guys can see your reflections of you dancing around and bleeding a little bit, whacking away the statues. I have to admit last, well, it's still the same combat because it's round four, but last time it came a little bit heated. Not so much in the podcast, but definitely in the GM's raw cut in the vodcast version that you will find of this podcast slash vodcast of Ark Lords NV, the second edition playtest Pathfinder Society adventure <laughs> that is not Doomsday Dawn. Stop asking me to do that. I just I just won't do it. I won't do two shows a night, Frank. I just won't do it. Kane is entering round four. Yep, and I'm going to go for the triple slap. Okay, and he's already rolling dice. That's what I like about it. Get in there. Get in there. Dima, you're on deck. All right, uh, 27 hit on the first, 15 on the second, 14 on the third. All right. I'm going to be nice because there were so many numbers fl flowing around. I think you've pretty much ascertained that my current, unless it drops, current AC is pretty much 20. If you guys can dent okay. that armor, it's going to drop to 16. What do uh, you got? From seven. Me? Seven points. Three ones out of the four. That makes up for all that damage last time. Sorry. Scratchy scratch. Oh. It looks upset that you're damaging or trying to, but no go. Is that everything from you, Kane? Yep. All right. Abdima, you are up. Maricel, you're on deck. What do you got, Abdima? What are you doing? Okay. So using uh, Hand of the Apprentice again on the statue that I've been attacking before, I roll attack roll of 20. Okay. Woohoo. With damage of 11. Okay. And then turning, realizing I'm surrounded, Abdima turns and swings again with his magical weapon at the statue that's behind him. For an attack roll of 29 and 16 damage. Okay, so you're spreading out your attacks. Yes. And you go for 11 to the one in front of you. Yeah, and then the sword kind of materializes back in my hand and I give a downward swing at the one behind me. Are you you're throwing your sword or just whacking away? The first one I kind of throw it at the um, at the uh, at the construct. Okay. Can you technically throw something that's adjacent to you? I mean, I guess. I don't think there's any reason why you can't. It just looked kind of funny. Anyway, pray continue. I'm taking a little bit of damage off because, of course, the dreaded hardness of seven has been revealed. So you're actually only doing like four. But hey. Chip, chip, chip away. Don't let me stop you. Yes. And the guy behind you? So then the sword rematerializes in my hand, and I turn around, swinging from an overhead chop. Two-handing. Um, attack of 29 on the guy behind me mm -hmm. with 16 damage. Oh, very nice. And that actually will dent armor, because it's twice my seven hardness, which is 14, taking me down to one dent left. And, sorry, what was it? 16. 16, yes. All right. That drops me substantially, sir. So now Abdin is the man. He's in there, like, flailing back and forth between two guys. You guys are all stacked. I love how, like, the right side of the gate, we've got Maricel, Arif below, Arliss to the right, and they're, like, L-shaped around a chessboard because of the marble-looking floor. It's all squares against one statue. Kane in a corner, just a little further away, is taking one on by himself and doing well. Squee is just trading blows with this one up by the wall, and then you got Abdima surrounded by two guys, not even asking for help, just flailing away, and now he's starting to win. This is very exciting. Very, very exciting indeed. I would ask, though, because of the podcast and because I've got my dice roller up, you state as you roll or before you roll. Hearing a whole bunch of spilling dice and then me going, so what did you do? It, it literally is you checking your numbers before you announce. Now, I know you're clicking the bastard sword button, but you know what I mean? Like, it sounds very meta. I appreciate the speed, but now we're overcompensating. Maricel, what do you do? Arls, you're on deck. Mute up, boys. Unmute character players and go. Full rounds of attacks. Lovely. Yet again. Let's have them. Same guy? Same guy. All right. And Until Arles. he goes down. Arls, what are you doing while we're listening to that lovely dropping of dice sound? Uh, 16, 9, and 7 for my attacks. Miss, miss, and I'm very sorry, a miss. Okay. Arles? Follow suit. Three okay. swings. And please? Now, three swings means your sword goes, your shield comes down, yeah? Yes, correct. Okay. And what's your new armor class? 16. As opposed to your 18. Okay, got it. Thank you. Carry on. Swing away. Arif, you're on deck, coming up very shortly. 
30, 26 with a natural 20 and a 6. Okay. Spill that damage. Uh, so the first damage is 10. The second damage is 17 plus the critical of a 9, so a total of 26. Okay, that dents me. But it's not a worry because this thing just crumbles and cracks to a point where it just stops moving. It doesn't fall over. It doesn't crumble to dust. Nothing quite that dramatic, but it does suddenly, pointedly just, you know, freeze in place. The magic has bled away, one might say. Ha ha! And your third attack is, well, it just stops. Dun 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 dun. Now there are crits involved, and there there could be some shattering and some, you know. There is, but I think a high society party would have part. very, very expensive art that could take some hits. So instead of it shattering for satisfaction, I'm going to say that you, uh, you know, the thing just shuts down. <laughs> Arif, what do you do? Squee your neck. After uh, Eris swings his sword and dispatches that one, I heal him from behind. Uh, the, the the fates believe in you, boy. Go, go, go get them. And heal him for two points of damage. Poking him in the rear with a stick. Yep. because That never gets old. Because he, healing <laughs> should happen from behind. There you go. <laughs> Put that on a t-shirt. How many points? Just two points. Minimum up, damage. Brings him up to, whoops, not 65, brings up 62. Just playing with the mini track here. Okay. Oh, my. Uh, uh. <laughs> Did you just say, oh my, or oh, ah? Uh. Oh my. Oh my. Arif, anything else? Uh, nope, that's it. I want to stay close to these guys just in case anyone else needs healing because the uh, statues haven't attacked yet. Okay. Squee? I will swing and swing and swing. Oh, 15 we know misses <laughs> so sad come on you can do it <laughs> 18 misses <laughs> oh my god now those that are familiar with oh, roll 20 <laughs> um, are wondering why I am I'm just done. showing the raw dice rolls and not the chat window for two reasons one it blocks even more map and two my players can continue to hold grudges and go on and on about things that have already occurred and let's just move on and I don't want you to see that dialogue that... no no dialogue for you scree not your day <laughs> nope miss miss and miss oh yeah oh yeah bad guys well we're not bad we're just animated defense mechanisms to attack and attack and attack again. Starting with Squee. Dun dun dun. dun. Seventeen twenty-five is a hit. Yes. Okay. One at a Bima at full. Twenty-one. And a second. A fifteen. And last one for Kane. 24. It. They just seem to claw in, move in, and they react to what you guys are doing. So, with its sort of shoulder or back to the party, not caring that one of its comrades has fallen 30 feet away, it is just sort of taking damage. And you know what I mean? Like, they're not they're not working as a group. They just seem individually going, well, okay, you'll move to the next guy, move to the. You know what I'm saying? At this yeah. point in the battle, that's kind of a free observation where you guys have a point to. If you drop one, you guys can completely reposition yourselves because they don't seem to adjust tactics to compensate for your positions. Right. Now, damage. 1d8 plus 6 for Squee. 14. Those rolls against Edema, did I actually get close or no? You were close, but, but no. But no. That's my line, damn it. Kane. Yeah, that won't hit me. Yeah, that's what I thought. Ten, if you please. And now we enter round five. We've dropped one out of five, so four against six. 
and these things have all starting to hit battered and beaten and haven't hit you guys very much so I'd have to say at this point this is a, what they call a decent combat we haven't easily dispatched them in five rounds but they are technically you could say losing let's try to wrap this up before ten rounds go by shall we gentlemen Kane what do you yep. do you're on deck uh, uh, triple you're on deck. attack again triple attack Oh, these are some. Uh, He's okay, uh, first one, 24. Second one, natural 20 for the 27. And third one, uh, a 20. All hits. Okay, so... How about while well, you're doing a crap ton of damage, which is probably going to be my doom. Abdima, tell us a little story about what you wish to do. Oh, well, I can hear the kind of crumbling behind me and know that I'm probably going to get people coming up to help me. So I'm going to step that way. I I'm sorry, did you just make a perception check? The cool thing is you get to call for them. I would like you to make a perception check. Okay. Perception check. Well, that's not a perception check. What the heck? That's initiative. Oh, that was you. Your, initi your initiative perception. How does... How does? Why does it say initiative and yet perception at the same time? Because, because perception is initiative. Oh, okay. Oh, and by the way, I did 40 points of damage. Off the three oh, there is hits. a perception specific button. That's <laughs> yeah, cool. But you gotta do them individually, remember? Because of the seven. Well, no, okay, so you can subtract 21 from it. So, what? It's 19 total points of damage to Yeah, you. but what if the first hit was only five and then a whole bunch of next time? It would work out, it would balance differently, would it not? <laughs> so, okay, I, I got lot. it. Fine, I'll re roll it. How many, dice, how many dice per attack? Uh, four, uh, four. Right, so six. Seven, eight, nine. It takes two. Then you go one, two, three, four, five, three, four. Oh, for the crit. Yeah, crit, for the crit crap ton, takes. right? Okay. And then the last, you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So another single point. What's the plus four? Oh, that's plus one each point. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's this is very confusing to me now. Okay, I I can re I'll, No, them. I'll go with yours. <laughs> <laughs> just, just like, don't do that again, yeah, please. You, with, with the five Shame ones. Shame on yeah. you. Yeah, 21 that. off of 40 is 19. 19. And I'm still standing. Wait, I'm, I'm not. Oh, that's your hit points. Is 19. Yeah, no, I'm still here. I hit I, you a few good times. I'm not, there's not a lot of me here, but I am still yeah. technically oh. here. Sorry. Um. Right, so talking about them reacting to you guys, I did state that. So I can see where you're going with this, Jay. So I will retract my demand of a perception check where you said, well, I hear this, right? Because uh, I was talking about them reacting to your movements or reacting to a guy going down. So I'll give you that. But be warned, if you guys suddenly go, you know, if you react to anything that's more than adjacent to you, especially behind you, then I'm going to burn a perception check and an action to have you guys, you know, aware, assuming you can pull off the roll. Uh, it is really a good advantage because most DMs will go, you don't know that. I'm actually giving you the chance to know that. So keep that in mind if you guys want to get frisky with some of those moves. Anyway, Abdima, setting you back to zero, what do you wish to do? For now, I know that that happened though, right? Yes, my bad. Okay, so I'm going to move and step down. Okay. And then I'm going to attack this guy with my first attack. Mm -hmm. And this one with my second. Okay. Actually, no, sorry. Both on this one. Okay. Yeah, I was kind of wondering why you weren't just kind of like chopping away at one to like, you know, just get rid of it. Otherwise, you've got to suffer like two attacks at you yeah. around until the bitter, bitter end. What'd you get? So first attack is 25 for 11 points. Yeah, ouch. Second attack is a miss. Nine. That would be a crit miss, I think. A what? Oh. Right. All right. I shall delay you an action or an attack next round. Seems to be the regular foreplay around here. So we have two actions next round. As you you know, you find yourself off balance. It's not a critical. It's just a. Oh, it is. It's beyond it ten, is. isn't it? Yep. How do they not keep the swords and people bleeding out their eyes if we're constantly rolling under 10? That doesn't seem... Hmm. Jared, well, your thoughts? Losing their weapon all the time is... Yeah, it's kind of... I'm trying to be inventive and have different things going in the battle here, but it's like, 
Besides what negating, was that question? You confused me with your question. A lot of below 10 becomes a critical miss. My AC right. is 20, he rolls a 9, yet another critical miss. There doesn't seem to yes. be any regular misses as opposed to like all kinds of critical. It sounds really bad. Basically, the only time that, as of right now with the rule set, the only time a critical miss really matters is when it specifically states a a effect. So a lot of spells that are are rolled touch attacks have a breakdown of hit, critical hit, failure, critical failure. Right. But Does that make sense? The fighter is getting off for attack. free? Is this just kind of like, oh, it kind of... Basically, yeah, unless you want to add some flair to it. That's well, basically... I've, I've had weapons thing. throwing around. I've had people drop shit, but... But strictly speaking, based on how the wor the rules are worded... I miss my critical failure. Exactly. The Very critical powerful. failure just states no. that a critical failure has the same outcome as a failure. Hmm. Okay. Well, like I said, it, it is it is a beta. We'll just roll with it. Like I said, you I will dock you an action next round. So you only get two actions because it's technically it could be an attack, right? So yep. dock you an action next round. Uh, and that's you, right? Yes, that is me. All right. Marisol, you are up. Arles, get ready. You're on deck. What do you want to do, Marisol? Woo! Um, I'm going to... Oh. Move. Oh. I'm going to move. Oh. Mm -hmm. um, flanking this guy here. Okay. And I will attack twice. <clears throat> All right. Uh, that one. And where is the other one? There it is. That one. So an attack of 18 and an attack of 19. But uh, I'm flanking, if that changes anything. Gives you the plus two, I believe. So then it would be 21 and, tw yes. and 20. Which actually makes two hits. Woohoo! Oh my it, goodness! Am I flat, automatically flat-footed because of flanking in these? Oh, knowledgeable. No. There, sir? No, and that's the problem, because they don't really specify what makes a person flat-footed exactly Flanking it's just a, de a denied of of armor basically or a denial of whether or not you know your opponent is there okay, I'm flanking pretty, I'm is something there. completely different i'm pretty there sure i do remember that the... about, the, there have been people talking about if it's denied dexterity you get it though is that no maybe... but there were, i do remember this my brief skin with the rules i was looking at it going flanking they do get bonuses but they don't automatically make the guy flat-footed because of, I don't know, was something... No, like flanking flat. doesn't. Flanking no. doesn't. So I think they, they ditched that. Okay, that's fine. But hey, thanks to flanking, you hit twice where you would have missed. Yes! Where is like, hit once where you would have got sneak attacks. See, that's where they're looking for balance. People only look at the negative, they're like going, hey, they just handed you three attacks for low-level characters. Even at penalties, Ooh. that's huge. You can just count on rolling huge. those 20s. And people go, well, that's broken. Well, no, they've gone way on the other side by denying half the flat-footed rules. You know, again, look at the big picture. I think a lot of people that bitch about the system are looking at a character class where Paizo's trying to balance an entire game system. So I did 11 damage with the first attack and 10 damage with the second. All right. So just looking at the sneak rules, I mean, just very, very quickly. Um, on page 158, it says if you, you attack a creature and you're unseen by it, it's flat-footed. Okay. So you have to use stealth before you attack. Yeah. Right. Now look up the rules for using stealth in combat. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'll, I'll get it's there. It's an I'm action. Just, that's all it is. It's an action. You have to hide first, which is an action, <laughs> and then you stealth, which is another action. So that's two okay, actions. Okay, but, but look at the description for stealth. Okay. It, says, it says that you can't do it once combat has been initiated. Because everyone notices you. They become hyper-aware. Yeah. Which is now, where the goblin... What happened comes. to fainting? What happened to like, oh, look, it's Batman. And then you set up a... I don't know. But anyway, good news is, chipping away, you drop this thing for Abdima. But that does actually make some sense. Now, hearing that perspective of it, looking at my character's gear list, there is some, a few things that they've given me to make me not visible to the enemy. Yeah, they're, they're finding a weird way of balancing thing. Anyway, Marcel... 
Congratulations, you've dropped and it's statue number three, but the second one to go down, but he had a big three carved in his chest by a demon, just so he could track, because the poor guy was fighting more than one. He's just trying to keep them straight. You come over and steal his kill. Arles, you are up. Arif, you're on deck. Arles, well, technically, he was flanked. He was saving his ass. <laughs> Saved you. <laughs> um, I want to move up and uh, beside Kane there and uh, take two swipes at the one that he's been relentlessly assaulting. Okay. Can you bring it in a bit there, Ryan? You're getting you're drifting off. Sorry. Sorry. Um, I, yeah. heard, I heard you. Liz. Yep, go ahead. So, swing, swing. Okay. Well, he's rolling. Arif, what's your plan here, man? Uh, I'll just continue to heal Kane. So I'll step in and heal. Okay. Long sword attack from Arles. Uh, attack of 20. Hits. Damage of 18. And he finishes it off. Kane's so pissed. <laughs> it just comes over and just Kill takes, stealing, son of a bitch. takes it from top shoulder to lower hip. <laughs> I'm, I like just one swing. I'm like, what took you so long? There you go. All right, so I spent a, a movement to sidestep five feet and yep. healed Kane for three points. Okay, Kane, stick that in there, sir. From done. I'm not even going to say it. Arif, you got anything left? From behind! Yep, the wand's getting dirty. Do you have any moves left? Any other action? Nope, that's it. I mean, okay. I mean nothing worthwhile. Okay. Squee. And once again. <laughs> He's done one thing. I moved up. Dude, He's been dude away trip that game. thing. Yeah, trip it, Scree. Trip it. It's a construct. There's no point in trying to trip construct. Why? <laughs> Why? Why? Because I will lose again. Well, maybe there isn't second ed. Maybe, maybe the list has changed as to what they're immune to. I think you could trip a card. Well, that's well, yeah. Well, that's just a, that's a combat maneuver. You can no, trip I think them. What, in. I think Joe's saying yeah. is once it's down, what's the point? Because I can't hit it. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. well, do you get a plus you, for like a prone guy in this game, Mercer? Even still, I can't do enough damage to get past the damage reduction. So it's I can look it up. He's it's no longer like, Jared the intern. Oh, he's now Mercer the intern because it makes me feel mm. mighty that I might have Mister Mercer as my personal intern. Wow. Wow. Oh, a natural 20. Yeah. <laughs> so two hits. <laughs> so the first hit. <laughs> He's back. I'm back. I Look fought golems bigger than you. Oh, take seven for the first hit. And then the second one is a D8. Plus, yeah. This whole time I've been working oh on my that one toe. Take 12. All right, that is yeah. definitely visible damage. You just take half of what <laughs> yeah. he had left. Nice one, man. <laughs> That's the second dent on that one, then. Oh my god. Oh uh, no, you got to get the fourteen. Uh, well, yeah, I I did the first dent. Then no, you got to do fourteen points. He only did twelve. Yeah. He did take oh, half. This oh, is the crit oh. with your with your weapon, right? Right. Stop yeah. trying to dent my shit. <laughs> I'm trying, man. I'm trying. <laughs> Just like, that's a dead, what? I almost agreed with him. Oh, Frank never lies to me. Don't Bastard. you do like 3d8s on a crit with that thing? 1d8 plus 1d4. Oh, sorry, I forgot my d4. Aha. Uh -huh. Aha, uh -huh. so I, I was forgot right. my d4. I forgot my d4. I, that was like on a crit, you're, all your damage dice turn into d8s, and then you get an additional d8. Nope, I get... Uh, uh, He's small. I'm not small. It's... Yeah, but the weapon itself has medium. Hold on one second. Oh, it's the military Three, pick, right? Yeah, it's just the pick. But yeah. one... one second. Move on while I look for that. Yeah, I was going to say, it does seem that your damage does seem kind of nerf there, Joe, compared to what everybody else is going. D12, and it's magical. Another D12. Oh, and a crit. Are it's using... D12. And it's not Thursday. Another D12. And you're like, D4. Because it's <laughs> they're using bastard swords. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> two hand it. Like, you get a little better, dude. dude I'm using a rapier. It's two d six. After this fight, if you yeah. ran to the washroom and came out wearing shiny plate mail and a little tiny <laughs> bastard sword and a shield, I don't think anyone would think twice of it. Even Arif's like, hmm, armor, you say? I would be very proud. Also, um, I happen to own a shop. It might be very <laughs> <laughs> you know I wasn't describing you, right? I know you have a similar <laughs> sword, but just say it. You said, goes into the thing, pulls out a bastard sword. I am the only one in the party with a bastard sword. 
Oh, that's true. He's got a long sword. I'm sorry, but I yeah. was I was going for Messina. That's why we're laughing because you guys all thought I was talking about Messina, weren't you? <laughs> and I take that as a compliment. Moving on. <laughs> that was good, dude. All right. Um, sorry. Where where were we? D4 of hell. Yeah. Did you drop your D4? Oh, sorry. I was just looking. No, I was just, you know. Like, I was trying so, to look up. So low. Yeah, he's trying to get us to move on here, but yeah. it's just I still a, think it's just a bad guy. There. I have another three. While I look. Okay. That, <laughs> that puts you up to 15 damage, which does. Which does dent. Dent the armor. Yeah. First dent of Pierce, the day. Pierces the armor. <laughs> no, dent of the day. The <laughs> Please yeah, add a construct day. toe to your inventory. Oh, right. Okay. <laughs> that's probably why I have none. Okay. My armor that's boss drops second. to 16 from 20. Yay. Yay. Now I'm going to punch you in the face with my stone fist of... Oh, that was so much a 20. And he rolled to 8. Boo. 16? 16? No, he's shaking his head. Okay, one for Abdima. Natural 20. Ooh. What happens when I crit? What happens when we crit and we're just a monster with stone fists? Oh, you know what I keep forgetting about? I get a plus grab. I could grab your butt. I'm going to do it now. I do 1d8 plus 6 plus a grab attempt. Now, there's no CMD, CMB anymore, is there, Mr. Mercer? So No, and I looked up grab, and the only thing I can find that's close enough to it is the actual athletics yeah. grapple. It's probably but why it, it has the athletic skill me. in the upper case of this monster. Yeah. Like, why, am I, why are you going out of athletics with a plus eight? Because well, it wants to grab you. Okay. Uh, now, I'm assuming, though, it's double damage, right? Because it's a crit? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Super crit, 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 what? No? Yep. Okay. Your mama says crit. Your daddy says crit. They're both a little bit weird. Surrender. Okay. And I double the, so like a d8 plus 6 becomes 2d8 plus 12, yeah? Yes. Oh, now you yes. all go quiet on me. Yes. Thank you. So it's double. Whatever you're doing, double. Thank However you. you want to do that, if you're rolling it or multiplying. No, I really don't like multiplying. I think that's a cheap, cheesy way out. 22 points of damage. Does that beat your threshold? Do you go down on the Star Wars track? Anything? Something. Somebody give me something. That's, that's not a thing. Uh, I whack it really you isn't. really, really hard in the face. And then I try to grab you with an athletics check and just kind of shake you about just to be insulting. I'm assuming I just have to hit his normal armor class. So athletics check of 17 against his what? Is personal DC, I guess, right? Because all skills go against personal DC. Uh, I'm probably going to say that's a no, because 10 plus 5 is level 15. I'm sure whatever modifier he's got to surrender with is more than 2. So it tries to grab you and fails, but gets a really good hit in. Soliplex to the fist, to the chest. Boom. Take 22 points of damage, please, Abdima. And moving down the line of schmoes. <gasps> there are no more schmoes. I'm out of dudes because three have dropped well they've stopped moving so that's me I'm done round six cleanup time Kane yes a uh, question is yeah. there um, is there a penalty for firing into melee hmm. I don't know that's why I got an intern Mr. can Mr. you ping your character and what you're shooting at uh, it all comes back into that whole line of sight and... Right, so what I suggest you guys do, though, is don't use the snap to center. Use the snap to edge, where you can pick an edge and go, oop, that's snap to center. Come on, you bugger. Like that. Yeah, because then if you can find an edge that, you know, like this edge. It's his edge. Yeah, right in there. See, squeeze wide open. Go nuts. No, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I wanted to do the one that he's been whacking at. Oh, Okay. So you would take a penalty because you're shooting past the first golem oh, okay. to hit the second yeah, golem. You're giving me cover. See how that line goes all the way through yeah, that it's character? Cover, it's cover, uh, right? Oh, okay. Yeah, so basically. Shooting at the first like a minus two. Golem. Yeah, okay. at the very least cover. But he's talking about like the fire in the melee kind of thing, which I'm probably, I, I would guess they haven't so. got into that yet. Yeah. Cause yeah, I didn't see any feats for like precise shot or point blank or whatever. So. Not that I saw either. Okay. I think the thing uh, you're remaining, it stalls the rules. Okay. So that's Kane firing away. Abdima, what do you want to do while he's working on his dice here? 
Oh, sorry. Uh, sorry, uh, Kane, you haven't told me what, what actually are you casting on me. Oh, uh, Acid Splash. Oh, okay. Acid away then. Abdima? I'm going to move up like that so that I'm flanking there again with this guy. So you take a step under him. Yep, okay. and I'm going to also attack. Now, flanking, I would say, only works if he's attacking the same guy, not just adjacent. Well, no, I guess attack, flanking still is the term of reacting to people to either side of you that are threatening, so no, it's fine. Let's do... Not for Kane, for Abdima. Yeah. So, Kane, 21 to hit? Hits? Yep, 21 to hit. Uh, 7 acid damage plus 2 persistent acid damage. Okay. So Ooh, so that, that would persistent. put your persistent damage to, what, 1d6 plus 2 now? No, this is that was like shock. Oh, that was a different that never golem, happened. and it's a separate attack. First of all, seven doesn't clear my hardness, oh, wait, so it does nothing. Hold up. Uh, never mind. There's no persistent damage. Okay, that's that only on crits. Okay. Yeah, you gotta do over seven to do anything to me. So sorry, no. Abdima. Okay, and taking my two attacks. Mm -hmm. Oh, now you stepped. Remember, we were gonna deny you an action. Oh, okay. Well, so that's my one attack then. Yeah, take the top one. Um, Twenty. Two and I'm flanking, so 24. Yes. And eight points, so yeah. One. I mean, nope, not that I have one left. Damn it. That would have been handy. And the DM drops <laughs> his hit points to one. <laughs> I'm the man. There's a glitch in the system. Yeah, no kidding. Uh, and that's you, sir. And Maricel is up. Arles is on deck. Woohoo! What do you Maricel do? is going to move. Because now. We're like surrounding, but I'm not actually flanking. Mm. But I don't know if that counts. But anyways, I'm still going to move and attack. Twice. Once and twice. So for 14 and 16. Uh, no, this is not the guy that just lost his dented armor, so he's still good. Sorry. <laughs> so no and no. And that's my turn. Arles. I'm going to take a uh, double move to end up north of Marisol and east of Squee. Yep. And I will attack the gullop that is... The animated within... statue that's kind of squeezed on the angle there? Yes. Sure. Chippity choppity away. Swing! 29. Yes. Damage of 18. Ooh, very nice. Ding. Dude, you're so savage. Something. Savage. And yet refined. And yet refined. And that's you, sir? Yes. You're all done. Arif, you're up. Squee, you're on deck. I move up behind Abdima and do a... Attack uh, of opportunity, Abdima. Attack of opportunity. <laughs> Get it in there, man. I, I heal. From behind! I'm just saying, I don't think he's down for that shit. Yeah. 18 points. Abdima. All right. Abdima. That was a channeled touch. Wouldn't be the first time he's healed me from behind. <laughs> didn't want to say I don't that. hear any complaints. This old man is just, yeah, really. They're all like, after the battle, they're like, call me. Okay, Era. My, uh, how the tables have turned from Star Wars, though. Uh, can't wait to get back to that fight. Actually, no, we were out of fight. Okay. Um, 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 um. Arif, that's you done? Yeah. Squee. Swing. Uh, swing again. <laughs> <laughs> Would you please call all intentions instead of... You make it sound uh, like you're just meta, you know? Maybe no, because I'm... I was, I was hoping to... Finish it? My last swing. Oh, look at that. A critical fail. Oh dear. And so it begins again. Oh dear. Can I have a. Is there a reflex in this? Yes. Okay. Arles, can I have a reflex save? Yes. Against Squeeze personal DC, which is 15 plus his main stat. What's your plus to hit? Uh, what's your. Um... 13. Mercer, how do you do the personal DC? I forget the formula. 
10 plus your uh, what your proficiency is in whatever you're trying to accomplish. So if you're His weapon. untrained, it's minus four. If it's trained, it's your level. If you're an expert, it's your level plus one. Uh, and so for, you know, as it goes up. Okay, so that's pretty easy. Then, it hovers yeah. around your level. Yeah. So what's your what's yeah, your expertise? His key, his key stat too. So yeah. yeah, plus your key stat. So, sorry, what's your proficiency with the sword or the weapon? With my pick, my yeah. attack is a big whopping plus seven. No, I mean like, are you considered proficient, non-proficient, expert? Expert. You're expert. So that's so. What was that? Plus one. So that's sixteen. And what's your uh, stat that drives its strength? Yep. Which is two plus two. Okay. So and eighteen it's a plus one magical weapon. Eighteen. <laughs> 19. <laughs> 19. Can I have a reflex save against 19, Arl? 13. Sorry? 13. Fail. Okay. Squee. Sticky, sticky. Let's, ha let's have that damage, Squee. Okay, yeah. He winds back and let's go, and it just goes dink right into Arl's. Now, Arl's AC is what? 16. Okay. Take seven. <laughs> <laughs> um. The, um, sorry, did you say 16? Yes. Okay, so you know how an AC of par is like 10? Mm -hmm. So your armor modifiers are 6? Mm -hmm. So giving you like, I don't know, like a proverbial hardness of 6, he does 7 points, you take a single point as he winds back and goes, ding! You don't get out of the way. <laughs> nice big dent in the chest plate, you take a single point. Ow! Ow. That's right. We're making this up as we go. Squee, got anything left? Okay. Wounded friend. <laughs> I like it. I gave him every chance. There's a roll here. There's a roll there. There's a DC there, but still no. A single point. He loses it. I don't think you're friends anymore. I think he's like taking you off of his Paladin's Emode book, Facebook. The bad guys. The creatures. The thingamabob that swings at Squee for 17 to hit. Yes, no, maybe so, yes? That's a yes? That's a yes. Continuing my attack of Abdima, provoking attack from Arls, because I'm attacking an ally, unless you're not dating. Oh, which, uh, one, the one that's south of Squee? This one here is swinging no. at Abdima. Oh, yes, I get my retroactive attack on that. Because they're, they're mindless. They just, like, you know, move to the closest, whack till it stops moving, move to the net, you know. So that even the fact you guys are tag-teaming it, unless someone 19. does, like, brutal damage to change my focus. Sorry? Yeah, 19 to hit, unless I get a plus for any flank. No. No. 19 to hit. Okay, and damage? 15. Which is exactly what I had, and that's three for Arl's? You've dropped three. No, two. No, three. You've dropped three. Mar Marisol's dropped one. Kill him. Uh, but I still hit Squee. No, Joe, I wouldn't have forgot. <laughs> Maybe you'll forget the damage. Ten points. Squish. Joe is about to go below zero hit points, aren't you? Yes. He had five. Excuse me. He had five. No, he has negative five. No, I have 15 left. But oh, no. okay. I have you at five here, so what's going on with that? Okay. <clears throat> You're fine. You're fine. Round seven. And you call yourselves Pathfinders. Well, except for Kane. He's exempt. He's just a party crasher. Kane. Yep. Uh, oh, did they kill the bottom one? They killed them all except for that one up there. Okay. Uh, I'm going to use the cantrip electric arc. Okay. And I can target one or two creatures since there's only one I shall target one. Okay. And it's a reflex save. Okay. Uh, DC 19. Okay. I'm giving myself a plus four bonus because you got to shoot through like two dudes to arc this at me. It doesn't say it's a projectile. It just says make a reflex save. It is a spell. Yeah, it's a spell. Is it touch AC? Is it? 
Uh, nope. Reflex save. Okay, what does the description say? It arcs from your fingers? Like, you know, is there... It says you deal 1d6 electricity damage. Each target must attempt a reflex save. Heightening increases damage. What is the, um, what's the range? 30 feet. So you just drop the spell on his head and it arcs to somebody else. Yeah. Yeah, I was just saying, it doesn't sound like it's coming out of you. It looks, it sounds like a spell that you just drop out there. It comes into existence out there and bounces around. Is that what I'm getting? Yeah. Yeah. Because otherwise, you know, there's the range touch and all that stuff, which would imply shooting from you. So, sure. Okay. And I get a reflex. Yep. Oh, it's my favorite one. My reflex is plus three. Okay. So, what's the DC I'm trying to hit here? 19. Come on, 16. Yeah! But that's 13 plus 3, which is 16. Not the 16 natural I was looking for, so no. Fail. Fail. 1d6 plus 4. Make it high. 4. So, total of 8. Okay. Ding. Just a little bit of electricity, but I'm fine. Zap, zap. Zap, zap. Right. No, that's that's all I can do. Okay. But hey, you're contributing. You get to be an honorary Pathfinder badge at the end of this, I'm sure, if you live. Abdima, you're up. Maricel, you're on deck. Show me something special, guys. One well, lone statue. What I was trying to do last time. Okay. One swing. Two swing. First swing is a 17. The next one's an 8. Red swing, blue swing. What? Uh, first swing... Some, some, please tell me somebody got that. No? Uh-huh. Okay. I got it. It just wasn't that great. Oh, man. <laughs> Sorry. Um, now, my armor class has been dropped to 16, so the first one hits. The yep. second one does not. Seven points. So at least the persistence of no damage, because I hired this of seven. Sorry. Oh, well. So much for that idea. Moving on. Who's next? Me! Marisol, you're up. Arles, you're on deck. Get ready. Go. I am going to take flanking position. Okay. You can move through friendlies through through free in this, I believe, still. So you're just kind of like taking the long way around. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Okay. And I have two attacks. Allow me to. 18 and 20. Placing ruler waypoints is now done by pressing Q or right clicking. Oh. Okay. Sorry. I My screen filled with gobbledygook. Nope, that doesn't work. Oh, okay. Sorry, please continue. Technical difficulties. Roll twenty has changed how it does things, and I've got completely lost in it back. Okay. Kick me out. So two attacks, um, one at eighteen and one at twenty. Uh, the first one hit for thirteen. The second hit for nine. Okay. You need to get sixteen. And uh, so they both hit. And damage. Uh, 13 and 9. Okay. So, your first one actually obliterates it. Oh! And <laughs> stealing a demon's kill. <laughs> Arles, pick a side, because it's now a Dima and Kane versus Marisil and Arles. <laughs> That's a place you like it. like just run around <laughs> taking no, all their kills. No, there's only one side. And that's the Omedi side. I mean, okay, Arles versus everybody, as, get him. As far as Abdima <laughs> is concerned, that one was the only kill steal. He knew very well that someone was going to take the thing behind him. I don't know. All I know is <laughs> That Squee was my tactical move, remember? No, no one's taking Squeed to Ekar land. No one's letting Squeed kill anything. He just <laughs> starts tearing up. Hey, man, he got to hurt the paladin. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah, remember? No, I mean, I, that's something none of us can say. Here's the fun part. <laughs> combat, combat, gentlemen, is not over. Arles, this is your turn. What do you do? Heal um, me. It's been running. <laughs> it's been running for six rounds. 
What, what, what do we say, Squee? Somebody who's been sitting in the garden who you were going to accuse Kill of murder of has had six rounds of watching you guys and preparing and getting ready. So, Arles, still around six. What do you do, buddy? Um, I see uh, poor little Squee. He, he's gotten the toe, but it cost him bloody. Um, quite bloody, indeed. So I cast heal. I reach down. I pat him on the shoulder. Squee, you've done very good today. And I cast heal. Okay. And I give him 2d8. Okay. Go ahead. Okay. Do it. What's your max there, Squee? 55. And what are you down to? 15. You get nine hit points. Yeah. There. Just fixed your health bar so it looks congruent to your. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to give your your magical little mini nine. Well, seriously, I think you carried us through the last fight, didn't you? Out of uh, yeah. curiosity, can any <laughs> of the players take battle medic? I actually have battle medic. You no. might want to use that. I was just about to uh, mention that on my turn. On his turn. <laughs> but thank you, <laughs> Mr. Mercer. He's, he's player friendly. Isn't that nice? Maybe he'll get you coffee one day. Arles, that's only one action, right? Uh, verbal somatic. Oh, so it's two. Anything left? Anything else A moral we encouragement. Okay. Arif. You've all done very well. Yomeda would be proud of every one of you. Arif, what do you want to do? All right, so I am... Your hors d'oeuvre sense is tingling. There's still yes. hors d'oeuvres to protect at this party. Oh. You feel you're in oh. danger oh. still. Oh, my. Now, 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 don't be afraid to be more effective. All, all of you. I, I guess. <laughs> um, <laughs> and How I will channel... How long your spell last year hiding your... Uh, it lasts one minute. Sanctuary. Oh, okay. yeah. So it should still be going. Yeah, yeah. So I'm gonna channel all creatures within all living creatures within 30 feet of me, uh, two to eight plus four, so 17 points. Yeah. <laughs> that guy runs up. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. And that's it. That was a two action spell. Okay. I guess I still have movement. Um, I will spend that movement on a perception to uh, see if I can. Yeah. You can't go over your max. Your health bar just yeah, went I, like... I, I realize. <laughs> he, he would like to, though, Jeff. <laughs> no, like, norm, normally roll 20 is good about it that even if you add, like, plus 17 to your health, if you have, like, a max cap in, it'll just hit it. But why, for whatever reason, it decided not to. I, yeah. Why I, you gotta Why you gotta be a buzzkill, Jeff? I don't know. I've looked after you, Squee, though, since Joe's kind of new to roll 20. I've got you up to 41, right? Um, okay. And... Uh, so Arif is doing yep. what? So I was going to make a perception check. Sure. Uh, 18. 10. Uh, you seem to be alone in the hall. It's kind of gotten quiet. Oops, sorry. Um, 10. Party guests um, haven't seemed to have noticed the commotion. I mean, there's song, there's dance in that next hall or whatever. Or if they have, they're just pretending nothing's going on because no one's come flooding into the room to help or anything. The, the, the evening may still be ours. No one seems to have caught on to the shenanigans. Can I have a society uh, check there, Aaron? Uh, absolutely. Shenanigans. Uh, shenanigans. I love that word. I love it, too. Uh, actually, let me find my character sheet. Society check. Squee, what are you doing? Well, he's pondering why it's so quiet. There we go. Did it roll? No, it didn't. There we go. 18. 18. You're going after an Ark Lord. They rule this town. This That's right. Country. It's like no one's going to mess with you and no one's going to mess. You know what I mean? Like they have their own security or they have their everyone hates them or whatever's going on. But it's just one of those scenarios that they just like let it be. You know, I mean, well, that's what I mean. His, his gods have not come against us. Maybe, yeah, I mean, maybe just, just these things. Yeah. So so the fight may still be us. Don't lose hope. Uh, 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 through the doors. Uh, uh, go, go. Marisol, it's not lost on you that who, who were you talking about the elfin with the skirt? Does any party member know about that transaction? That encounter? Anybody? 
I don't Marisol, think so. Was, no, no one uh, caught that at all. Okay. Unless they, you know, unless he brought it to our attention at our little conglomeration. Well, well, I did say the Kellish word for I mean, k- k- kilt is like mentioned skill. something about it. Okay, because the alpha man's wearing a skirt, and now he mentioned your female prey as a man. So I just thought maybe his glasses, his Coke bottle glasses, are on backwards or something. Just want to take note that the old <laughs> well, man is mean, as perceptive as he is. At, at a certain age, everyone tends to accumulate the the chin whiskers. So it's an easy it's an easy uh, mistake. Uh, carry on, carry on. Okay, squee. I uh, don't know. Continue forward. Let's move to a better spot so I can see. Well, you guys were on your way to the garden. Yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Now, if you wish to get to a spot and then stop and then make perception check, you may. Ten. Total. <laughs> I see the ground. Okay. <laughs> and just for argument's sake, because someone is, you know, holding, waiting, mm-hmm. get, you know, getting on, getting on with, okay, and probably just to make life a little easier here, we're going to say that. With ten, you get the lay of the land. Okay? And you even hear casting and some muttering between two people, especially one going, Master, are you fully prepared? You know, that kind of thing on the other side of the statue up here. So you know you're not alone. All right. But other than that, we are not alone. Help me. <laughs> Nagasi. Six rounds. And this is the sixth for you to prepare. Round one. First of all, not just six rounds, but the fact that they stalled in the party. I believe your script tells you you were aware, prepared, stacking up your apprentice at your side. Yes. So at this point, if you're fully loaded and ready to go, at round six, tucked in behind the big statue, what would you do? What are your orders, master? Says your apprentice. Shall we engage them here? Or somewhere less British? (laughs) Let them come in and then hit them from the side. I I have my play toys picked out. Excellent. So we're not casting this round, we're just doing dialogue. I don't know what you're doing, but I have cast haste on myself. No, 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 no not that loud, mistress. You, you, you tip them off. <laughs> Did I get some of that haste? You have some love for the apprentice? Do, do you like my new you're red not- shirt? Do you like my new red robe? I picked this out just for this occasion. <laughs> it's red. <laughs> Feel bad for me. All right. <clears throat> Megassi, what do you do? You just hold? Uh, no, we are going to drop a flaming sphere right on top of Squee. Yay! Do it. Do it now. Bring it on! <laughs> well, that's just rude. That's just rude. Squee, how is it out there? Toasty. Will be. <laughs> Echoey. Bring it in. Oh, sorry. Toasty. Will be. Can you tell us a little bit more about your spell, Nagasi? I create a flaming sphere within my range, which would be 30 feet from me. So it's not directly on top of him, but it's in front of him. He sees it rolling towards him. Yes. Now, I think it would be too much of an ego boost for me to play Nagasi and have Jared Mercer, the, the intern, play my apprentice. So I will continue to DM. And the NPC Nagasi, your person that you wish to question at the very least, arrest at the very most, or possibly even, well, hopefully she'll put up a fight, will be played by Mr. Mercer this evening. I will voice the apprentice, but he will control and tag team the tactics. 
as he constantly asks his mistress what he should do next. Or, you know, they've been talking about this for several rounds and a few minutes or an hour worth of party of how to, you know, <clears throat> assess and take you guys on. So, drop that spell, milady, and let's really get this battle going. Um, yeah, 30 feet in front of her. Boom. So you need to move up? Yeah, I don't have, con I don't think I have controls over her. Oh, I'm sorry. I'll fix that. Anyway, for right now, you're going to. Why don't you just move yeah, it and five. Yeah, that might be easier. Now, the diagonal movement in second ed, have they changed it or is it still double twice? It's still after. So it's five, ten, and then it would be. Double. Okay, so 20. Five, yeah. And her movement is what? 30? 35 now you've because she has hate okay cool so oh and no it's because she had the turns to set up her other two spells so she has an increased health and it increased in movement speed okay for a total of 35 yes 5, 10, 15, 20 25 30 35 as one and yep. 5 10 15 20 25 30 i need to get closer so so go ahead and do it she's got yep um, 5 10 15 20, five, 25 move, 30 five actions yep move all the way in cast the spell yep and that's three out of five get yep. two actions left you wish to do what drop a fireball yeah you did that that's action three yeah no no i'm that's oh, just takes a concentration yeah that just takes a concentration check Okay. And the fireball on top of Squee. Squee, I don't like green things. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now nah, that's racist. I mean, you've never met this woman. You know, she comes running around the fountain, starts casting, I don't like green. <laughs> Stupid Pathfinder society. You couldn't just leave well enough alone. I gave my special guard one task, and all she could do was get one of you off to the side. Oh, mistress, you spent so much time away from the Muagi Expanse here next. The accent is rubbing off. I'm so through. <laughs> all right. So, can we have some dice going on? Has he got to do a... What's he doing? Uh, Sorry, I don't know my way around this, so... I'm feeling like the burn. You don't know your way around the spell? No, no, I don't know my way around roll 20. Yeah, so this is what I'm saying. Call it what you do, and I'll make it happen. So he gets a reflex. Somebody's turning their phone off. And. What's the spell? Oh, flaming Spear. Reflex save, yes. Reflex save, must attempt a reflex save, and does 3d6 damage. Okay. So Squee, you gotta roll like 1d20 plus 4. Is that your reflex, or was that your last attack there? That was your last attack. Okay, so let's have a reflex from Squee. A reflex. Flaming Spear is actually 4d6, not 3d6. So. All right. All right. Oh, did they increase it? Yeah. Okay. No problem. I'm helping. 11 points or half. Is that correct? Yes. Mm. 21. Unless you critically succeed. 21. What's the DC for your spell? The DC for the spell is 21. So he My hits best. it. Yep. So he takes half. Half of 11 rounded down is five, sir. Minus two because I have fire resistance. Ooh. Very nice. Don't know that. Yeah. Very good. Yeah. yeah. Bring it on, bitch. Nagasi, your spell <laughs> is pretty effectual, but the hardness of the squee of two. <laughs> <laughs> My last two rounds are on that fireball since I hadn't realized that at the time. Okay. Which is a 20 foot burst. Okay. And a reflex save again. Uh, mm -hmm. Please tell me you're going to actually put that through the open archway and not just on one little dude. Oh, no. I'm going to put it behind him. Like, yeah, figured. maximum effect. Okay. Natural 20 for my save. Running which towards you. would be considered a <laughs> critical success, which basically means you take no damage. Oh. <laughs> and the rest of them? <laughs> well, burn. How, how big is this spell? Is it the, 20 foot? Is it, okay. This is the fun part. So while y'all, you know. Wait, hold up. So you did two movements 
I have five. Like, I have five. I have five actions. Okay, five actions. So two movements. Yep. And then flaming sphere, which is two actions as well. Correct. Yeah, the chevrons. You got to count your chevrons, dude. Ah, uh, yeah. Sorry about that. I misread those. Sorry. So yeah. So it's just action. one. So I'm gonna take a. I'm gonna stride back and let the apprentice come forward. Okay. So, through so, the fireball. So two up. A spell which costs two more, and then a thirty-five yep. foot back. Right. One. Two, yep. Four. Five, oh, sorry. It's getting ahead of myself. 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. Good, and uh, save takes no damage on uh, on Flaming Sphere. Correct. Fireball is half. Because you reflex yourself out of the way. Ha ha. Okay, so there's no damage to Squee. Right. Yay. Okay. Good, good to know. Good to know. So that, that's just fire from, resistance. He gets two hit points he, back. He's, he's, been, he's been helping <laughs> yeah. this entire time, and now that he's a player, he chokes, and the players suddenly, what, remember the uh -huh. rules that you haven't remembered all night? <laughs> okay, yeah. I'm not arguing Spree, with this. But... Spree went from super fucked to ah, just a million flesh wound. Yeah, no kidding. Okay, the apprentice. Your, miss, your orders, mistress. What did you want him to do? Because you have the, the characters in front of you, and I'm... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, invisibility. No problem. <laughs> GM Lair, here I come. <laughs> Yoink. All right. Have that faded mark like in, in Sniper for him. This is where you think he is. Okay. And we are entering round eight with Kane. Squeeze like, let's investigate. <laughs> Squeeze resistant. Kane, what do you do? Abdino, right. you're on deck. So, uh, do I have line of sight to the middle of the fountain uh yeah but it has cover because you're l kind of literally leaning out okay no that's fine i don't i don't care about cover i just need a line of sight um if you can draw from the corner of your square yeah you could hit the like the broad side over here there's okay. enough to get from the back of your square like in the d20 Okay, there's snap to center ruler, but then there's snap to corner. Set your guys to snap to corner. Yeah, which is what I'm using. Right, okay. and then pull out yeah. the back corner here, and then you got a nice angle, you know, boom. see that? Mine's yeah, even a little perfect. bit bigger, so that's fine. All right, so, and that is all right. perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay. All right, Jeff. Yeah. I'm going to fire. Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's, it's perfect. <laughs> all right, uh, she's got to make a reflex save. For what? You gotta tell us what you're doing. You're dropping a oh, what? Oh, I'm dropping a fireball on her ass. No, you're not. You're hitting a fountain with one. Yeah, but it's a 20 foot radius. No, I blast. got that. But like I said, this is you no know, theater of the mind, gentlemen. Remember, we have to be descriptive. Well, here we have 20 foot radius fireball that I just happened to have the 10. That's a 10 foot radius fireball. I'm not done yeah. yet. I gotta squeeze it out for more. I'm going to use a reaction and use counterspell. Ooh. You have to be aware of the spell caster. And you have to hear the spell, do you not? Counterspell. Spell, where is it? I know it's in here. You know there's a gaggle of guys in the other room fighting a bunch of statues and, and Squee has revealed yeah. himself, but to to have you like A creature casting feet. a spell the Arch Lord has prepared. The Archlord expends a prepared spell to counter the tr uh, triggering creatures casting of the same spell. The Archlord loses their spell slot as if they had cast the triggering spell and then attempted to dispel the triggering spell. Okay, so the reaction means you're allowed to react to somebody acting, right? Right. Okay, you don't see the spell cast, but you do see the incoming fireball. It has to right. cross well over 100 feet before it blossoms. So, hmm, Wiki may hate me or Reddit may hate me, but yeah, I'll give that to you. Yeah, I mean, I mean, it doesn't, it just says I have to be aware of the spell coming. And yeah. since she has <laughs> uh, the third, one of her things is the, um, yeah, it's actually called uh, Arc. Lords, no, it's yeah, third eye or whatever that basically gives her yep. automatic um, detect magic. For let's the let's, let's not give all the secrets away. Yeah, 
<laughs> I'm just saying, like, yeah. if you want a reason why she can see the and, spell come, unless it, they bitch yeah. and then I'm backed in a corner, and you want to? No, back it, me, it makes stop sense. Giving away me. all my secrets. You, you'd see the little <laughs> streak of fire yeah. coming towards, well, that's and it's yes. still to costing up. you a spell slot. But Mer Mer Mercer's over here waving her resume in the air, going, "You see, yeah, <laughs> on a paragraph next, I mean, just like, dude, explain everything. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, it's called upon. Anyway, Mr. Kane." Good shot, you know, par for the course, back with the three iron, drive to the fountain, and oh, and there's the blossoming, oh, there's wait. supposed to be a kaboom. You gotta make a, a check for kaboom. What? Yeah, he has to, does he not have to make a spellcraft check yeah. or something so like that? He auto, ex, uh, he expends his, one of his spell slots at uh, third level, and then he attempts to dispel the, the triggering spell, and you have to look at the dispelling on page 197. Which says you have to make a counteract check using like the spells level or whatnot. Um, okay. That plus, um, we 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 get a plus. I don't. I, I'm trusting you to do this since you're the yeah, one. Yeah, no, no, no. I I know what you're talking about. I just got to find the right number. She's got so many damn numbers on her. Yeah. Um, Being an arc lord, she probably has a bunch of revs and bonuses to do these things. Exactly. But yeah, Aiden's right. We got to walk through this. Um. Steps. So, what did you say that page was so I know I'm picking the right actual uh, number? So 197 is right. Dispel. Dispel. So Aiden, can you read that off for us while Jared's doing the math? Um, and before this episode ends, we will know if there's a blossom of fire or snickering laughter. Yeah, well, they give me a sec to pull it up because there's like, it's like, oh, Here's kind of a base idea, and then you have to pull it up. Okay, well, then you have to pull up a different suspending base. in time. I don't think one fireball okay. is going to kill us. What's what's your um your DC for the spell? Uh, I have to beat that with a concentration check. DC nineteen. Okay. So her concentration check is. What about the spellcraft that he called for? No, no, that was me. That okay. was me. That's old rules, though. Right. Okay. So concentration is what for Nagasi? Uh, for Nagasi, it's where is that number? Uh, plus fifteen. Okay. I mean, yeah, we are dealing with an uh, uh, Arc Lord. Ah, she's creature seven. You guys got this. You got this. Apprentice creature three. You guys are all creature fives. You got this. You got this. It's Wait, fine. concentration check? Yep. Are you sure it's not counteract check? Because I'm looking at dispelling right now, and I, I only see counteract. Hmm. Good question. Well, six, okay, so you're trying to, from what I'm telling, you're trying to counteract mine with the level of the uh, spell counteract level is equal to mine. Uh, so you have to succeed at a check using the relevant skill or ability against the DC of the targeting effect. You take a cumulative negative five penalty. So that doesn't matter. Uh, I'm not sure what the relevant skill or ability would be. Well, her spell casting check is plus 15. Okay. So that's what I was going off of. Okay, then yeah, I think that'd be the case. So yeah, 15 against my DC 19. Yeah. So yes, you were right. I just... The I used the wrong word, sorry. Yeah, no, and that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> okay, so make the roll. Oh, natural one, natural one, natural one. Uh, you have to put a slash R then space before doing it. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> uh, Are you going to use the auto dice roller? Probably. Allow me. Add 15 to 16. It is 20, 31, boys. Yep, 31. Okay, so he counteracts, so the fireball disappears, and we both lose a third level spell. Prepare spell, yeah. 
and we will see you next time when it's Abdima's turn and he shall do what? Parting words, Abdima? You're muted. He can't speak. He's holding his throat in agony. Find out next week. <laughs>